inside. Middle of three, left rear tire smoke. Big boost here, boom, too much. And if you can slip and move, and it's like a high speed game of chess. And you're just, you're planning moves miles ahead of whenever it actually happens. So what is, what is a NASCAR spotter? What are you doing? I have to admit, it is a really good job. It's a very unique position. We stand on the top of the control tower, which is usually above the grandstands of the racetrack. We have two-way radios that we're able to talk to the driver and the crew, mainly the crew chief, but we have direct communication with the NASCAR driver during the race. So our main objective is to keep them safe, keep the cars safe, and help them navigate through traffic. But there's tons of other responsibilities that we have during the race. So we are the liaison between the NASCAR officials and telling them messages, whether it's a penalty or position on the track, things of that nature. So during the race, we have to be on it from the drop of the green to the drop of the checker, whether it's green flag, caution flag, or red flag. There's so much information being processed that we have to pass along and look for. So it's a, it's a cool deal. Why would a driver need this, I guess? With these race cars, they're closed cockpit. So these cars, with all the safety equipment that the drivers have, they're in a very confined seat. They have headrests that really hold their heads straight in case of an accident. They have a full face helmet, so the cockpit is very tight knit, and you would be claustrophobic if, if that sort of thing bothers you. But they're able to see straight in front of them, and they have a mirror just like a street car that shows what's going on behind them. Other than that, they have no view of what's going on. So if just put in, like if you were going down the interstate and you weren't able to turn your head to look right or left, if you had somebody sitting beside you that was able to look all around and say, okay, you can merge to the right now. You just turn over and, and go to the right. So that's what we're doing through the radio. We're giving them what's going on around them. If somebody's faster or slower, what they're doing that's either helping them or hurting them as far as lanes because the tracks are several lanes wide. So we're looking for so many things like how aggressive they are entering the corner, meaning speed. Like some places are over 200 miles an hour entering the corner. So if they could back up the entry to go a little slower in, and by slower I mean just a few miles per hour so that the tires grip better, to have a better speed through the center. So we're looking at all this stuff. Okay. I don't know anything about NASCAR. So, <laughs> but to me listening to this, it's like, I kind of feel like you're driving the car. Oh, it's, it, it's the next best thing. That, that's for sure. It, you're so involved in what's going on. You, you have the, the strategy part of it and, and it's super intense. I know you're doing a lot of different things, but if you had to say a primary focus, are you primarily watching your driver or are you primarily watching the other cars around your driver? There's very little focus on your car, actually. So you, we always have binoculars. Even if it's a short track, you have them in your hand in case there's a bump up or car damage. You can quickly look at what's going on. And that's also to, uh, to clear them. Like if they're in a tight battle and they need to squeeze up to the wall, you're telling them whether they're clear or not. And a lot of times they can see in their mirror that these guys are good. Now, we're talking about the best 40 drivers in the country. And some, some would say the world, but you are just helping them guide through the day. They, they know what's going on most of the time, but there's that little percentage where they might be in, the, in a battle and you can help them slip up into a hole that they need to be in to then gain speed for the next lap. So, yeah, it's... It's sheer intensity. Can you say like, okay, my driver won because of the spotter or they lost because of the spotter. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., he would have won, but that Tab Boyd guy is up there. <laughs> told him to break when he should have gassed. There are some tracks that we race at, say Daytona, Talladega, that we consider super speedways. And as a spotter, we really love those racetracks because we feel that we have more of an input of what's going on with the car 
uh, and how to navigate through the traffic than we do at the other places because the draft is so much into play. They're three wide and two wide, sometimes four wide the entire day, bumper to bumper. And if you can slip and move and it's like a high speed game of chess and you're just, you're planning moves miles ahead of whenever it actually happens. Yes, you. there are a couple of tracks throughout the year that you could definitely be the one who helps win. But uh, there's a saying that, that's that been around a long time. You're not going to help them win very often, but you sure can make, make them lose. 